Hello, hello there, YouTube, and this is just an additional video to the video that I started before. My tutorial on um, multiple expressions, and I'll be using GIMP today. The reason why I'm using GIMP is, first of all, I, I have not yet bought my uh, OB Photoshop CS4 or CS5. I am planning to in the near future. And also, it is really hard to find a tutorial when they use they actually use this method and they actually use GIMP. So I'm pretty sure I'm the first video that you actually use the GIMP, where they actually do use GIMP. So first, just I'm sorry, I'll start at the beginning. Go to File, Open as Layers. Hold down your Shift key and just click on the photos that you want. I only did three because I wanted to keep it short and simple. You can do as many as you want. I mean, I've done pictures where there's 50 of me. There is no limit when it comes to imagination. Now, left click on your first one and add a layer mask. Now, you, you're you going to click on the black one. I already have it added. <coughs> and all you have to do is switch to white. And just brush your, just use your brush. And just go over it. Now, I know your reaction right now is like, oh, it's just so cool. My reaction was like that the first time too. But only do it where he is, because if you do it here, the next layer mask when you try to add the other guy, it's not gonna look good. You won't be able to add him. Then just click another, add another layer mask. Okay. And now look, it's like magic. Now, I don't know if you are, but just for a second, but if you want to, like, there's a little lighting issue back here. You can just fix that. So they all match. For one of them, there was a little bit less on than the other one. Just sort of fill in the sky or whatever it is. Just sort of fix it all up. And personally, I like the lighter situation too. Oh, see what I did right there? And I have to edit and get rid of everything. Anyways, forget that. Well, actually, that tree right there, I would really like to edit that. So I'm going to. And uh, that's it right there. Anyways, now you can see how I have com successfully combined three photos of one place all into one thing. Now, if use your imagination for a second and imagine this on a bigger scale. Now, at first I started out with just this guy. Then I got this guy in there too. That guy came in. This guy came in here and boom, here comes that guy. Right in there, and really, I mean, imagine it's on a larger scale, like let's say a hundred people, all of them you. Now, what I've always wanted to do was buy fifty different colored T-shirts and do and have one of me wearing a different T-shirt every time, fifty times. Now, I think that would be an amazing photo, and if I do it, it will definitely become one of my stock photos. And I mean. I know. Stock photos, I haven't made that much. I made about, oh, let me guess. Hmm, I gotta think. Wow, hmm, I'm trying to think. Maybe $100? About. And I sell my stock photos for about 5 each. Hmm, okay. But I mean, I've had stock photos up for like a year, so I, I mean, you'd have to be freaking amazing to get your stock photos sold like that. Sorry about the extra screen, I have a dual monitor running. Anyways, <clears throat> another guy that I want to redirect you to. Um, I'm not advertising for myself or anything. I'm not greedy like that. But it is him right here. The photo extremist. Right there. I'll enlarge this so you can see it. This guy, if you... This guy is just amazing at what he does. Like, really? I really do admire his style of photography. I mean, he's a great photographer. He knows what he's doing. And it's not like, oh, he kind of knows what he's doing. He really knows what he's doing. Okay, his name is The Photo Extremist. Um, His work is amazing. It's great. His stock photos are amazing. I mean, I know it kind of sounds bad, oh, me redirecting you to another channel, but if you really do deserve it, I'll put you on here. This guy. He does a lot more than what he has right now. I mean, he gets at least like 1,500 views per video, and he's about one. He's like about 1,800 subscribers, but he's more. He really deserves it. And also, I feel like I should get more 
Um, what do you call subscribers? I only have one right now, but I've only had my YouTube account for less than a month. But I'm really hoping for more subscribers. I mean, right now, if you haven't already dissed out of the video saying that you've already learned what you wanted to learn and you're done, then please subscribe. I mean, whatever. I mean, if you want to, do it, definitely. I'm putting on another video right after this one on how to make a photo look extremely amazing. I mean, here I'll show you an example. This is of my little sister. Um, uh, I, I don't want to make fun of her, but she looks nothing like this, really. This is all photo editing. All of this. Like, I mean, here I kind of messed up. I There was like a f hair coming through her eyes. And it was like shing all the way through her face. I just erased it. And it looks so good up there. So I'm going to work on that. And then this one. I made it look like she had a, like there was a white backdrop by just eliminating all of the background. And then I used my studio light to out, just um, make it cast on the left side of her face. And um, check this out. I mean, a lot of people really do like it. Um, thank you for watching my video. Um, if I'm gonna have it here, actually, I'm gonna release a challenge for you guys. Here we go. The first person, not the first person, but the person that makes the biggest amount, like when I say biggest amount, I mean the most amount of yourself in one photo, I'll have some kind of prize. I need to think about it. But I'm gonna get some kind of prize out there. And I will send you a prize. So, see how many people you can get in there. Thank you. This is Pix. Please subscribe.